welcome everyone in this new live development video about uh, auto chess in this video we're going to make it so uh, we have some kind of uh, combat phase management so the battlefield is going to uh, understand what teams what units are alive or not and it's going to tell the game that it has to do something about the fact that someone won for instance so we're just going to open a battlefield and if I remember correctly we stored all units in teams so uh, and we actually did not choose that function and we're not going gonna use it so whenever a unit dies it's going to record uh, that fact and it's going to remove that unit, uh, the unit from the pool and that way uh, when the team goes empty it means uh, the combat's over one way or, or another so let's do that so whenever we grab a unit in get closest in me unit we're gonna call bind ourselves to some kind of event dispatcher on the unit so we're gonna build a new dispatcher called dispatch on this uh, it's gonna pass itself as as reference so that's gonna be a U BP unit um, dead unit I don't know in unit actually that's the proper naming convention so it's gonna call that when it when the unit dies so on rep current else uh, we're gonna so on rep current else is calling on this and on this we are setting our AI state so it's gonna call that and it's gonna pass itself as parameter like that so the battlefield is gonna bind itself to that event bind this so I'm in the, the loop the get closest in me unit loop so we are storing the closest in me unit so get closest in me unit that's not where we want to be we want to be find unit in battlefield we want to be there so if it has a hosted unit we're going to bind ourselves uh, and we're going to create a new event for that on unit death which is going to take a unit as parameter obviously and we're going to go back there select our new event compile that so when a new unit dies we're going to grab its team and we're going to create a new function called remove unit from team which is going to grab that and it's going to take an integer as parameter and a unit like this we want to create a function because we might be doing this multiple times uh, actually we are not I think but uh, just because I don't want that place to become a mess so we have that team ID so we're gonna find that so if we have that team we're gonna break that promote that to a function to a uh, local variable temp units we're, we're gonna check if that contains the units mentioned here so we'll have to take into consideration summoned units uh, if we have some kind of summon system so uh, because they, they'll have to register to that battlefield some one way or another so if it does contain this we're going to remove that unit from this pool like this and we're just gonna set that once again so we have to promote that to a local variable or do we no we don't because the unit is not removed from the game so we still we, we can still access its team ID so we don't need we don't we actually don't need that my bad so we just need the team there and we're gonna grab that once more because we want to find and to set that we actually want to add our temp units array like that 
so when a unit dies it is being removed from there so we want to remove unit from team right when it dies and we now want to check is team empty so it's going to take once again an integer as parameter and it is going to return a boolean it's going to be a pure function like this so we're going to find once more and if we do find it uh, actually we don't care uh, we're just going to do this and return if the team uh, is team empty length superior to zero uh, yeah it's good so if it's superior to zero it's gonna know yeah that's it so if the team empty we're gonna grab that check this out so what do we want to do from for now we just want to like print uh, the winner so it's like the other team and the battlefield don't know what teams are in play so I guess maybe it should have a variable like fighting teams and it's gonna have it's gonna be an array of integer So by default it's gonna have like zero and one. So if the team's empty, we're gonna remove the team from the array of fighting teams. So that way we can make it so we can fight with more team than just two. So that's for that's building for the future. So we're gonna remove this from there. And if the lens is only one, it means we have a winner. So we're gonna get uh, we don't care, we, we're gonna get the first index and we're gonna say we're gonna print that just 4 or 5 and like in, in green and just for the sake of uh, better understanding we're gonna say 0 team is gonna win uh, let's play only one player uh, it's not the time to debug in multiplayer lots of things gonna be broken for now in multiplayer we don't care so when we press I it's gonna fight and we're gonna have zero spawning there so I, I just so we're just going to I, I wanted to build the, the HUD etc so I but I think I'm gonna cut that video uh, and and do the HUD in another one so it's it's easier to follow but I just want to to finish up a bit of that logic so what do we want to do once the rune is over I think we want to say for now we're just going to build that logic in here I think it should not be long here but it's gonna uh, the, the fact that units are resetting uh, I'm, I'm, I was talking about that logic uh, so we're gonna build it in, in some kind of dirty way for now uh, and we'll see how we build it so it's gonna be quite easy uh, we're just gonna call uh, like reset combat phase or or more go to recruit phase for instance we, we don't care for now so when there's a winner we're gonna we're still gonna print the winner just so we have some kind of track that we have to come back here so winner is like this and we're gonna say return to recruit phase uh, go to re to recruit phase like that and we're gonna wait like three seconds so like I was saying dirty just just uh, for the sake of uh, letting the fight end properly so we want to go to recruit phase what do we do we have to pick like all the units and tell them they're not statics anymore so I think we have a reference to that unit and we just have to uh, we don't even need to loop I think get a copy and is there a way to put them back from the dead for now I think there is none so 
we will need to create one so we're just going to create a new function called revive unit and the battlefield is going to call that so revive unit where we need to plug that so all units are going to be revived we are fine with this we just have to build the logic now so what is the logic we want uh, what do we do when we die when we die so we need to to change well actually i'm just gonna pick that grab that we want to go to static mode we want to be visible and we want to enable actor collision i think it's gonna work like right away so blue are obviously winning so winner is zero so units are all all reappearing but they are not being reset to their uh, location so i guess we'll just do this so when the combat starts i think units might need to know so initial square current battlefield maybe the unit should know on what on what square it is after all so initial square initial square is just used for uh, debugging reason because we are drag and dropping units uh, in the uh, in the editor and they don't know that they are on that square when we drop them so it's just to to fix that issue but maybe we can actually change that initial square into into current qu square and every each unit knows what square it is in um, I'm wondering I think we're just gonna do dirty for that video and I'm, uh, I'm gonna think about a better way to do to do it so um, the battlefield is just going to tell the units what place to teleport back to so pre-combat location ah uh, yeah but it's yeah so it's going to work I was wondering about the fact that uh, their, their square might have lost the reference to their unit but it's not the case so we're gonna be fine so pre-combat pre location so it's kind of dirty, but we don't care. Yeah, we can put that in grid, even if it uh, if if it has combat in there. So the battlefield, when it revives the units, it's going to loop through them actually, and it's also go going to set their actor location to the variable we just created. Get pre-combat location like this, and it uh, it's also going to set the their rotation to minus uh, 180 I think like that teleport teleport physics we're just gonna hit, hit play so they're not yeah, yeah, yeah we didn't store that information so when we have when we're finding our units we're going to set their pre-combat location to the square they are in like this and I think we're gonna be good for that one so winner is player blue yep they are being reset but just not on the, on the right location that's because uh, we need to do some kind of plus 50 somewhere so I've done that way too many times and it's really not clean so I need to find a way to make it way easier to debug as well so we're gonna modify the value of the units the archer is only going to deal like one damage and the default unit is going to deal like five damage so winner is blue and they are being reset and the logic to move them is still is still up but their their else is not 
reset so we have to do that so in BP unit when a unit revives we're going to set current else to their max else like this so when we press I I, it, I think it's the final test but we had to make it yeah, yeah it, it definitely works so I think that's gonna be it for that video I hope you guys enjoyed it and hope to see you in the next one bye bye